That's that's confusing. <laughs> because <laughs> why? Quick disgusting us break, and we're back. Ah, she would be dead. dead. Okay. Hello, welcome to the pilot for uh, Teach Me to Magic, which might be a new show thing that we do. Hi. I'm Thomas. I'm Steph. Um, why are you here, Steph? Um, I don't know. Why am I here? Uh, you're here because I play magic, and I want you to play magic. Mhm. Mm okay. Uh, so Sounds I'm good. going to teach you to play magic. We play like one game of paper magic. Yeah. So you've 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 played. Did we play two? You've and you've watched. You've watched some magics happening. Yeah. Like many podcasts also. Yes. So we're going to attempt the tutorial. Right. And see how we do. Yeah. You're bravely venturing forth into the world of Magic 2015. Uh huh. That tutorial there. Yeah. Hooray. I clicked it. I was maybe a little premature. He's got an interesting eye. Yeah, okay. I am a planeswalker, apparently. You are. Now you know. Don't they have anything better to do? They just fight each other all the time? Well, they do plenty of other things, but in the fighting game, it represents the fighting that they do because it's a fighting game. Okay, I'm just saying, you know. Yes, they do lots of other things, but okay. then they have fightings. In fact, I was I, actually, it's a really good point. Like, when I started out in Magic, like years ago before the Great Hiatus, mm -hmm. um, I, I got the, the novelizations, and they weren't about Magic Wizards having duels, they were about the world building and the creatures and the, the tides of war and, you know, all of the helpless little minions getting crushed under the feet of mm -hmm. events. And I was like, where's the magic duels? Where is the one wizard and the other wizard doing spells with each other? And they weren't there. So. I mean, do they like have homes or so, hobbies? So in it, yes. If you read the fiction, it's all about the homes and the hobbies and not having jewels. Which planeswalk is it? Uh, okay. May I who, be the first who person would, who's asked that question? Who would be a knitting planeswalker? Um, I knit. Who would be arts and crafts? Uh, well, I'll think about that and I'll come back to you. So anyway. This is about the fighting bit they do. Okay. There's plenty of other things, but sure. this this game is the fight. You use creatures to attack your opponent or to block an attack. Got it. Tick that thing. Okay. Are we reversed at the moment? No. If I if I point to that corner of the screen, am I pointing to the right corner? Welcome of the to Magic. Confusing. You and your Hello, annoying voice. Thank you for welcoming you us. Magically. Magically. I haven't. Don't you know? Whenever things are doing with fantasy or magic. They're British, supposed to have a British accent. British accents are de facto. <laughs> Haven't because, you seen Game of Thrones? <laughs> because it's classy, all right. Uh huh. Magically. Come on, wizards. She sounds so chirpy. She she should be voicing a Barbie game. To win, you must shop more and buy more clothes. Yeah, we need a bit more gravel in this um, voiceover. I think. Yeah, we kind of need voiceover, man. Okay, live turtle to zoom. You could have gravelly female voices. A little bit of improvising there. Yeah, yeah one word there. difference from the little, text. Little extra word here or there. Mm -hmm. Chaos. Library, At yeah. She sounds so damn happy. Seven cards! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Zoom in. Um, have we got a mouse? Yes, we do have a mouse. Here. Oh, hello, patronising. I'm trying to remember when I played the tutorial, how long I got before I had to turn it off because it was just so damn cheerful. Their attack screen carries for miles. He's he's pretty cool. I like him. Yes, it's. I mean, it's a four 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 four. So, so okay, it's fine. Yada yada yada. I wanted to look at the rest of my cards. Yeah, it's going to keep taking the power off you. All of the beef. <laughs> That's green. Uh, I've got five lands. Yep. Okay. You're gonna need them. So I say playing magic mostly. We're listening to someone talk about magic. Sure. One one land a turn. That's but why is it giving me a hand with five lands? Uh, because. <laughs> Because uh, it's trying to impress on you that lands are really, really important to have. So. Play a land. Since you don't have enough mana to cast any spells yet. Yeah. You haven't allowed cost. me to look at that one. <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> it's right there. You can kind of see it, sort of. I think they're trying to just tell you one thing at a time and take your things real I have gentle. a text. Whoa, that's, that's impressive tusks. 
Yeah, it's just taking a chunk out of this person. It looks like. Oh yeah, I see the blood kind of spatter. Gory. Yeah. Yeah, there's some impressively horrible details sometimes on magic cards. Uh huh. Which you can see all the better. Okay, so Crimson Mage. Why is Crimson Mage automatically a dude? There are plenty of lady, okay. lady antagonists. So he's got so he's got a one drop. Yes. Because he's red. Because he's an angry acid. See, we've already done some groundwork. Woo woo! Like <laughs> is the major way players defeat their opponents. On every creature card, the bottom corner displays its power. Wow. And it's a goblin. Gobbo. They're generally small and puny. So yeah, since we've already done that sort of starter game with Basically, I I I made us some really simple sort of um, red mo red and white mono color decks. But Steph's kind of been through a game, so this thing's is slightly a recap. This is the amount of damage needed to destroy this creature. There's a huge number here in case you missed it. Every spell has a mana cost. To summon crazed goblin, it costs crimson. You can probably click on it before she finishes talking to skip it through faster. Is it annoying you? I could I could let her you know finish each one. Um, Fine. <laughs> you do that. Okay. We'll see which of us cracks first. Thank you. When a player gains control of the anything that requires tapping. This is, this is called, called summoning, summoning sickness. Informally, yes. Dizzy! Are they blonde? Dizzy! Do they like shopping and pink? Do that's they, that's stereotyping. Do they do up talk? Probably. Okay. For the whole turn after they're summoned, they will up talk. Combat phase, main or phase. Card, or yeah, now that's that's confusing. Yeah, I got another card. It used to be like a horizontal line in previous version, but they wanted to make it look more pretty. Tusker, yeah, the, the only two drop in your hand. Oh yeah, I see the the uh, interesting one. Ooh, hello, summoning sickness. Two drop meaning cost two to play. You play on turn two. More than a match for that crazy goblin. Let's pass the turn. Ha! That crazy goblin. He's in a world of pain. Yeah, because it's green. Normally, it's more standard to get like a two-two creature for two, but because we're green, we get a three-three for two. Super big. Unlucky. Yes, I think it had haste and must attack every turn. But if it had haste, wouldn't it have attacked at once? Uh, didn't it attack us last? Oh, it no, didn't. it didn't. Sorry. It something serious. Ah, good answer. Thank you. Right, so that animation shows us that it's attacking. It's, it's right. the combat phase, yes. Right, highlighted there, yada yada yada. You have to have a creature on the battlefield that will block very well. Really? Okay, so he's 1 1, I'm 3 3. So, if that, stop talking, woman. If I block with it, my creature survives and it dies. Yes, because it's only going to do one point of damage to your creature against Which its three then, toughness. And then my creature heals at the beginning and of next turn. Yeah, it, and yours is going to do three to it, and it's only got one, so it will overkill it into a messy paste. Oh, that's important. It can still block it before it can attack. Yes. Okay. Yeah, block it! Block it! There was a thread on Reddit about how um, someone was like, creature was summoning sickness. Click the block button to finalise the action. Uh, there's that block button. They're like, creatures were summoning sickness block, I've been playing wrong for years! Yes! Yeah. I've been such a fool! Each creature deals damage equal to their power. Yep, 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 we said that. Stop talking. Okay, so it's still. Blood. Dead creature, graveyard. Yeah, so yeah, you can see it's gone down yeah. to two toughness till the oh. end of turn. Well, okay. It hasn't really, but it's a visual yeah, shortcut. Sure, sure. <coughs> so is it my turn? No. Wait, it's his turn again. Now it's he's his finishing. end step. No, it's his but he doesn't have anything. Play another land. Okay, I can't play him. I haven't got enough thingy. Ah, oh, I've already got the thing. Oh, they're, they're both big creatures. Yeah, so. 
so, four and a five. Yeah, okay, one. click on it, then click attack. Okay. Uh, continue. Because he doesn't have any creatures, creatures to block him, the Crimson Mage will take three points. Three damage. Why not? Let's have a slumber party. <laughs> don't have any spells that you can cast her now, so let's pass the turn. I like puppies. I don't want to have a slumber party with a Clonian Tusker, thank you very much. <laughs> I think it will be the slumber of death. Okay, what's he just played? Uh, Blood Crow's Neonate. That's another attacks each turn if able. Huh. So that was the end of his turn quite quickly. Yeah. So if you roll up the, the middle what's it, you'll get to see see the card. Whoa. Yes. Ne neonate. Newborn? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty ugly. That's... It's a new vampire, apparently. Right. At least it's literally not a newborn baby vampire. <coughs> yeah. Okay, I have four mana, so I can cast my rumbling Baloth. You want to rumble all over the town. Rumble. <laughs> Okay, so that was for him to look at it. Um, but that was for him to cast counters on him. Oh, right, okay. Okay, but I can't cast that one because it's got so many sickness. I can do that one. Yeah, I remember that. Cool. Why would you do that? <laughs> Doing it to demonstrate a point, not because any it would ever be a good idea, ever. Blocking blocking with small creatures Wait, what? Not take any it's chump blocking. The, the, right. It's an absolutely terrible strategy, <laughs> but it's it's Ooh. it's to prove a point to you. Why is chump blocking a terrible strategy? It's a terrible strategy in this case because his deck strategy is to kill you as fast as possible, and his things oh, are smaller than yours. So he needs to wait till he's got something to either make his creature bigger okay. or make it so you can't block. So he needs to keep building small monsters on the battlefield until he overwhelms you with numbers. Right. His his life total isn't important to him because if it gets to the point where you're going to kill him, he's already out of a chance to lose. Okay, uh, to win. I got it. So it's um, he's not playing like a real red player would would play. No. Right. Okay. This would be a terrible move, but it's doing it to show you what happens. Yes, if you're a super aggressive deck, you almost never chump block unless it's so literally save your life. Okay. He plays land. And plays New creature. Big thing. What's that? So 3-3 three, three and... Attacks each turn if able. <laughs> Nothing if not consistent, these red chappies! <laughs> there are only 50 words in the Cyclops language and 10 of them mean kill. It's remarkable how they can develop culture with that. Yes, um, sorry, English teacher speaking. <laughs> Right, so he's three. Well, three. if a lot of if if there are very predatory and species. Wow. Instead, instead of playing your land, land and casting a spell before, before combat. So this is teaching me about the the second thingy. In my oh, turn. second main phase. Yeah, the yeah. the actions you can take after your combat. So it's step. telling me don't play your land yet. Yes. In fact, you can see them at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. With the sort of pips, so it's main phase, combat, main phase, and and okay. stuff. I think. These numbers. Something about that is the that's the number of cards in hand. The five yes. and the forty nine is the number of cards in, in your my library. Library. Yes. Excuse me. And and my nose. I have a cold. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Quick yeah. disgusting this break, and we're back. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, the zero is cards in graveyard. You can see it's got right. the graveyard. Yes, because all my dudes have died yet. Yeah. Okay, so this turn, um, in this first phase of my turn where it says main, I am not doing anything. I'm going straight to combat, and I'm going to attack with both of them. Yes. Um, instead of playing your land and casting a spell before combat, which, yeah, I think so, because you're going to have a, a big blocker yeah. to play after the combat. Okay. Oh, it's a blocker. Let's uh, well, it it's a 3 7. And oh, he's got a yeah. 3 3 which oh, yeah. must attack. Majorly so you're going to you're gonna eat that up like it's breakfast. Right. Because a 3 3 is only going to do 3 damage to it and it's got 7 toughness. Uh huh. So you're going to do 3 damage back to it and it's going to die. So, wait, remind, so in this turn, I'm going to attack with those two. He's yes. going to block he's one. He's going to probably them. not block. He's probably. I think for this next part of the game, he's not going to block, and then he's going to attack. attack have to attack into your three seven, which you've played. But I play that at the end of my turn. Yes, he doesn't get to attack to hit till. Oh, because I remember, I, I, he doesn't get to choose which one I block him with. So I block him with the most powerful blocker. Yes, and the other ones will be tapped anyway, so um, they can't block. They couldn't block anyway. Okay, so 
So uh, assuming it's going to tell you to attack with both, you won't. You're very railroaded in this uh, tutorial. Oh, he wanted me to go continue to go straight into combat phase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because he thinks he'll get it's good, better strategy this time. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> let me fold my crayons. This poor voiceover actor, she's she's just doing what she's she been told to do. She dreamed of higher things. I understand. <laughs> I remember hearing about some um, f um, f feminists who um, broke into toy stores and they swapped the voice boxes of Barbies and Action Man. Wasn't that apocryphal? Was it actually? No, I believe it happened, but like many many years ago. Like 90 or something. <laughs> um, so is it right that I could, If I've got two main faces, does that mean I could cast two lands? No, you can only ever play one land a turn. When okay. You can play it in either of your main phases. Why did it question. make? Why was it? Why did it make sense not to cast the land first? Why couldn't I cast the land first then attack? You then could, you could. It's it's teaching you good practice. You're you're concealing from your opponent that you have a five. That uh, I have some, enough. That you have enough land to play something. To play a five drop. Yep. Okay, I see. Yeah. So it's teaching me sneakiness, although yes. it doesn't tell me. Well, it's, it's also it's also concealing from you the option to play that to cast that thing. Right. So it's kind of, it's like oh oh I've got five I can cast a thing now yeah I hadn't even noticed that I could cast it sort of thing. Right, okay. Licking <laughs> down. <laughs> Are you advertising fried chicken? <laughs> Finger licking destruction. Yeah, crispy nuggets of crimson mage. <laughs> um, right, okay, so he will play a land and attack. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it has to attack. All of his creatures yeah. have had to attack. And you're going to nom 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 it, and then he won't have a blocker. Oh, right, so because he attacks and I can eat him up with my seven, yeah. with my three seven. He loses that creature, and then he's got nothing left. Unless he plays something the else. Next term, yes. and unless, unless. Oh, okay, okay, right, right, right. I see. But if he doesn't, you're taking being seven to him. So, Bottom must deaded. <coughs> We're both I ill. Block. Yes. Oh yes, that did again. So click your person and then click him. Yeah, okie dokie. So I'm blocking him, of course, with the three seven. Yes, the other one, the other ones can't block because they're tapped. Gotcha. Boom. Oh, right. Sorry. Yes, I just assumed what she said. Can't. Because, yes. Gotcha. Busy returning from their previous mission. I just got land. Everything. Fortunately, there's an attack with all button. Mhm. Mm which they didn't have in some older versions, which is very annoying. If you had a huge... <laughs> so wait a minute, 3 plus 4 plus 3, I'm doing him 10 damage and he's on 10 life, so he is dead. Very much so, yes. Very dead. Kibbly chunks. Yes, click the attack button to confirm. Bye-bye. <laughs> One at a time. This is a little bloodthirsty. Well, I mean, I, I uh -huh. later on you can turn that off, but it's helping you to see what's doing uh -huh. what to what, so it doesn't Spice go too fast. Okay. Spice okay. It. Right. Okay. Uh, so. So, are we happy to move on to the second quest? To expand sure. your horizons. Yeah, expand them. Yes, with the, the interacting with the graveyard. Hello, with, graveyard. How are you doing? With some of the art that Magic has moved slightly I away from. I was just gonna say that she's wearing um, impractical boob armor. Yeah, I'm not even sure it's armor. I, I think yeah. that's something she's wearing to the New York fashion. What's it? Yeah, or to a burlesque show, a sort of, yes. um, you know, um, Celtic warrior themed burlesque show with extra woad. Yeah, I can see that. Off we go. Yeah. Okay. Yes, My mind is just thinking of Celtic themed burlesques, sort of, you know, thatch huts and cows wandering in and out. Carols? Cows. cows. Cows, right. They they lived with the cows in the houses for one. And they probably all yes, smelt of That would stuff. be a stinky burlesque. <laughs> <laughs> kind of would. Hey, Gareth, that was the spooky girl, wasn't it? Yes. 
Oh hi, I'm like totally a vampire. Your opponent is Azure Mage. He's trying a bit hard, isn't he? Well, when you're a vampire on a horror plane, you've really got to do a lot to you stand gotta, out. Yeah, okay. You, you, There's you've a lot of competition to... for spookies. <laughs> you can't let the side down by, you know, not having the, the pointy shoulder pads. Or and the, the pointy ends to your cloak. And not carrying a, and a wind machine. the pointy machine. ends to your hair. You, you have to have a wind machine and going the pointy, you. And the pointy bits on your <laughs> boots. Yeah, it's all about pointiness. He must get chafing on his thighs. <coughs> Maybe vampires don't get chafing. Mm. I think they're too. Um, no, I was, I was saying he's, he's got a wind machine everywhere he goes just to get that perfect whoosh, whoosh. I think I think the uh, I think the bats are whooshing him. Do they have we special? Right, have we just referenced the children's TV show? Have oh, they got Hobby special whoosh. bat obedience classes? <laughs> uh, they're probably just his relatives. And it's oh, well, right. Okay, just a minute. Okay, just a minute. Let me read this stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh dear. Yeah, so we're in the middle of the battle. Yeah. We're um, getting totals. Things are looking not so great. Because we're hellbent. We have no cards in hand. Wait a minute. Why does it say... Oh, oh bringing my life total to two. Are they telling four. me what she's just about to do? Yes. But I'm black, so I'm going to do some shenanigans with my graveyard, right? Uh, there's nothing in your graveyard. What? Why is there nothing in my graveyard? Uh, I'm not sure. It's It's a false scenario. <laughs> It's just not yeah, confusing. Huh. So basically, we haven't played anything. We just sat here playing lands and somehow emptied our hand. We didn't That's draw anything. Silly. It's a completely fake scenario. Okay. It's fine. <coughs> oh come on! Yeah. So there you go. Yes. Um, main right, combat, main end, like I said. Yeah. They say five phases, then they show four. Yeah. That that doesn't quite. No. Like, at all. Yes. Assassinate is a card that can destroy a creature of your choice. He's Borg. Since you're at two life, you better use it on Azure Mage's creature before it kills you. He's not Borg, he's all icky from poisons. Yeah. Two by two hands are blue. Okay. Hmm. Kill that, what's it? Wait a minute. As long as it's tapped. So it's like saying I, I need to play this, mm. but it's not a creature. Assassinate is a card that can destroy a creature okay, of okay. your choice. So I play it, and choose I a choose tapped a tapped creature, creature. So this is my turn, and that creature is tapped because it just attacked me and took me to two. Yes, and you can kill it. <sighs> what? Oh, right, it's gone to the graveyard. Yes, that's the that's so Azure and that's graveyard. And that's my graveyard? Yes. Oh dear. Why is my hand cold? Um, I don't know. Mouse Shall hand. I warm it for Other you? Other hand. Oh. <laughs> Most unromantic hand kiss ever. <laughs> there you go. All Slightly better. moist. Uh, that's how you do it. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, we're so sorry. So she had divination in her hand. She's drawn two cards and then played a wind drake. Zoom Wait, card, so she drew two and graveyarded one of them. No? Wait, oh, she put something she down play, there. She played divination. Oh, that's divination that she the, put there. She played the divination, it went into the okay. graveyard, and then she played one of the cards that she drew. The and the other one is still in her hand. Yeah, okay. she has five cards yes. in her hand. I'm guessing there's flies. Yes. Hey, she, she's not reading the text. I don't know how to cope with this. <laughs> it can soar. Well, I wanted to look at it again because okay. it's pretty. It's kind of purple. It's kind of diamante, diamante Drake. Yeah, yeah, it's very pretty. Mm. Airborne eyes and ears. Okay. My so eyes two, and two. my ears are airborne. So that means I can't block it. I want to wait a minute. Wait, you don't have a blocker. Oh. 
<gasps> what will you do? <gasps> oh no! Oh good, we just topped out the perfect thing. What a relief. Flying death touch like thing. Yeah, a few He's more so abilities. emo. He is emo hawk. <laughs> and he has interesting hair too. Yeah, that, that's red tattooing on his head. Yeah, but you know, he's sort of bald and then the hair just there's a tuft yeah, of business the back. front party at the back. If you say so. In the traditional stylings. Okay, flying death touch lifelink. Oh, that little red icon means flying. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it is flying. Creature it's just a flying. reminder icon. So I can hey, I can hey block him with because I've got flying. Yes. Yep. So. Yes. So you need to cast it. Hello there. Hi. You've got three icons. Right. So her turn. Combat. She decided not to attack. Yeah, because Cause why? I can block. More than that. Also, she would lose her critter. And you would keep yours, because you're yes. a 2-3. I got that. However, <laughs> 8 7. I want to see this one. Why are you still in trouble? Because <laughs> there's still the other one. I've only got one. Yes. yes. And you're on 2 life, and it would, the other one would kill you. Yeah, uh huh. He's kind of impressive looking, maybe sort of a Syrian. Mm. Right. I think that might be a made up card for this tutorial. Whoa! It, does it have little people inside its head? Yes, they're driving it, I think. But it is also a zombie, driven yes. by zombies. Yes, zombie section. Room for pass passengers, okay. Yeah, I think that's purely in the art, that's not represented in the card. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just sort of yeah, admiring him. Just, yes, yeah, indeed. I I've read it. I'm a quick reader. Yes, I was yes, you are. admiring him because he's pretty horrible. So you get this giant and you turn it into a zombie and then you scoop out the brain and put mini zombies in as passengers. Yeah, it's all very possible. Fair enough. Zombies. Fair enough. Right. Okay. So I just top decked. Uh, a thing that is 4-3. In other words, I can survive both attacks because he's death touch, so he deals with the 8-7 dude, kills him immediately, and he's 4-3, so he deals with that one. Well, that's the thing. I can't remember quite how this works because he doesn't have flying. Oh, right, the flying. So I huh. don't quite know Weird. how this is supposed to work. Okay. Oh, it's an interesting decision. If you, if you do, do, you won't have any untapped creatures to block, to block the Goliath, Goliath Sphinx with. So the question is, is he definitely going to attack? I guess he's got no reason not to. Because I'm on two life, but he's on four life. Yes. Uh, oh. Ooh, have you spotted something? Yes, I've spotted something. Okay. What have you spotted? Let me try and look it out. Life link. Yes. Okay, so that does something to my life totals when I play it. I yeah, when guess. when it deals damage, you gain life equal to the damage. Ooh. Damages. Okay. So I attack with him. He has death touch, so he takes. No, I don't attack with him because mm. I need him to defend. He's the only thing that can defend him me against the Goliath. Yes. That one has summoning sickness, so I can't attack with it. Yes. So, okay, that one I defend with. Yeah. He remains untapped, and um, he deals damage. So does that mean... Wait a minute, that one's an 8-7. Because he's death touched, does that mean he would deal 7 damage and I would get 7 life? No, almost. It means he'll deal two oh, damage. Because he's a two. And and even if you only dealt one damage, that'd be enough to kill it. Okay. So he deals two damage because he's a two three. Gotcha. So it's yes, it's still what he is, not what that is. Yes. And what happens okay. to your life total after that exchange? It goes up to four. And then the other creature will 
his other creature. He's presumably he's attacking a, with uh, bear. Yes. She's, she's attacking, she's with, attacking, with, attacking with bear. So that one will do me two damage. So I'll go up to four and back down to two. I'll stay yes. the same. You will survive because of the life link. Okay. So I do not attack. You I skip don't. attack. <laughs> End of my turn. Well, well, forty down. Right. So it's got those symbols. Ah, there's not so even. A, she's flying, not even attacking me. The other death one. Death touch. Is that one's death touch? That's no, that's life link, and, and that's death, death touch. touch. Right, three symbols. So oh. it's attacking with. Yeah. So I need to attack. You with need to defend. Some, yeah, sorry, skip. Um, and indeed. Rise from, from the grave, grave. can reanimate creatures that are in a graveyard. Oh, this scenario now has overkill. Take that as your oh, right. Uh, a graveyard, as in my opponent's graveyard. As in any graveyard. I will have that nice thing that you just played. Yep. Woo! That's a kind of very dead dragon. It's a black zombie, in addition to its other colours and types. <laughs> and uh, here we have a quote from a, like we were saying, a strong female well, main character. Black zombie. Does that mean it, it's a black zombie in addition to its other colours and types? Does that mean it changes attributes? No. It that would only matter if you had something that did things to black creatures or something to the zombies. Right. Okay. So it's it doesn't matter for now. Well. Ooh. I'll have that, please. Confirm me. Thank you very Yoink. much. Woohoo! But it's still got so so many melt things. over it now. What's it? So it's so it's a it's a zombie, a zombie, a sphinx zombie. There we go. Brilliant. But then it would be cool if the art changed. But okay, sphinx yeah, sad. zombie. Sadly not, dude. Okay, it appears it appears safe to <coughs> work with my, my zombie Goliath. Yes, I don't think it's complex enough that they're going to. Uh, fuck <laughs> Yeah, because you've got an eight-seven blocker. What's she gonna do? <laughs> chump block. Now this is a good scenario, chump blocky. Yeah. Because uh -huh. she doesn't. Yeah. Whoever if she doesn't do something else. No. No. No plays. Nothing. Got nada. My six cards oh, in hand I are useless. Boo, 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 boo. Attack for the win. Attack with all. Just because. Because overkill. Yeah. Sure. Are you getting it? <laughs> Why when if you could just stomp them into the ground? Absolutely. Blanket. That's the Timmy way. As you play more magic, you'll run you'll into run many into kinds of yes. spells and creature abilities. Oh. Look for spells that fit your play style. In Quest 3, we'll learn about spells with more permanent effects. Because they're well. permanent. Ah, oh, that's a joke. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I see. That, possibly. But it, it's funny. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a pun. <laughs> well, are you, you going to click that thing? Oh, <laughs> are we going to do this one now? I don't know. Uh, do you, are you okay? What time is it? It's now quarter past nine. How, how, how long can you go? Three, the three of six. I'll do the third. Three okay. of six. Okay, halfway there. Enchantments and auras. I think halfway there is a, is a good... Well, my name. Blow my name, blow my nose. He's got an interesting thing in else. There you go. Enchantments are permanent. Mm. <laughs> Told you. Excuse me. Ugh, but. It was a pun. Because they're permanents. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glow is gold. For your third quest, you'll be using a white deck. White's White special is she's better than me. Small, small, efficient efficient creature. Creature. She is, but she doesn't have to be an arse about it. <laughs> she's vulnerable in that leg armor. It's like, where's, you know, but is it the she, femoral artery? Yeah, she's, she's representing you. Yeah, she's not your opponent. I know, but still, her armor is impractical. She's an angel, she doesn't have to wear practical. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. An army of small, efficient creatures. Minions! Mm, yes. Except they're not terribly efficient. Yeah, well, I mean, they're... Yeah, they're Onyx Mage. They're not evil. So I'm playing black. I'm playing against black. Yes, you're playing what? So, again, Onyx. we've come in in the middle. Isn't it Onyx? Onyx. 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 Onyx.
Onyx. Onyx. Onyx. Onyx. Onyx is, is the Pokemon. It says O N I X. That's how you spell Onyx. <laughs> look, I was about to say, oh look, we're in the middle of the game, and look, I've got lots of, I've got bits of land. And, and enchantment. Stuff. It's gonna be enchant things. Huzzah! Musically chanting, 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 chanting. That is actually appropriate for a white deck. Blah. Honor of the pure. That's what it's called. That is the literal name of the card. It's Vexar Constant as long as they remain on the battlefield. Increases the current Wow. Their heads are so shiny right now. My <laughs> gosh, you don't even know. Such shinies. Scarring Many the heads. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, white creatures you control Cutting get them down with their foreheads. One. Glory Seeker. Mm-hmm. Just a doo 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 On the plane of Zendikar, apparently. Pointy and gets in the other man. <laughs> so, I've got her twice. <coughs> okay, so, play Honor of the Pia. So, instead of four damage, you're going to be doing... Well, we get to plus one. Oh, six. Now, Oh, right. Oh, it, it changed the thingy. Yeah, it changed the colour okay, to show that it's been enhanced. Oh, I see the purple. The purple 20, just shows that high, being highlighted in the game. Okay. Oh, it changed the colour of the number to that little blue yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's blue, it's blue. Attack with all. Girl, attack, attack. Attack. <laughs> I think she's a white player. <laughs> How you say? She sounds like an enthusiastic about everything. I know, but this is the best way. The best way is the best, you guys, because it's the best. Hooray! We totally are paladins. Yes. Meanwhile, Mine I'm a necromancer. Wow, we. Hello, spine. <laughs> How many arms has it got? Lusty in the Necromancer is not impressed. It's got impressed. two heads. Yes, it's it's two it's two minotaurs welded together. Abomination. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not welded. Yeah. Glued. Okay. Mel mel Gum, melded together. Mel <laughs> melted together. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. So that's a four six. Yes. That's Play another land, it is telling me. Play another land. I have six lands. Oh no! It appears that oh, no. Put a stop to your advancing army. If you attack now, now the results result might not be good. good. Perhaps, Perhaps waiting, waiting might be the best. So wait a minute, if I... He's got so many sickness. If I attack now, yes. they're tapped so they can't block. Yes. Okay. Well, what would he do if you attacked with both your soldiers right now? He would block and will wipe them out. Mm, you can only block one creature. Oh, okay. He would block one of them. And survive. Yes. And lose three life. Yes. And leave you with one leave creature. Leave me with one creature and unable to block because it will be tapped. Yes, and then okay. he've got he you've got a three three against his four six so. Oh, and then he kills you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, four life. Mm. That that minor detail. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so I should wait. Yeah, Skip it. If you attack with one, he'll just eat it up. And then if you attack That's with both, he'll eat turn. you. Okay. So he has. What's he do? He, well, he can't attack either. Oh, unless he's got something else to play afterwards. Now you have a chance to take care of this minotaur problem. Creatures have the ability to block in groups. In this, In this situation, situation your, your glory seekers will be able okay. to destroy the Minotaur, Minotaur abomination. abomination. But in the but process, in the process one, of one of your glory, glory seekers, seekers will, will also die. die. I have to block him if I want to live. Yes. Yes. And instead of trump blocking, if you block with both, um, you'll get to kill his thing. I see. So if I only block with one... Uh, you would lose a creature for no benefit. I At least this way. still die. Um, no, because it would deal all of its damage. It doesn't have trample. It would deal all of its damage to the one creature. But it would survive. Yes. Okay. Blockity block. This way, you're doing six to it combined, and it's doing four to your guys combined. So. Right. So one, one dies, dies and one lives. One takes. One damage. 
So I still got a dude, and he is not tapped. However, <laughs> eight eight nightmare horse so flying. While enchantments affect the game globally, auras affect specific things, usually creatures. This one looks especially useful right now. It says particularly there. Wrong. You wrote wrong. You wrote wrong. You wrote wrong. Okay, I want to look at this. Oh wow, that's pretty. It's got lots of skeletons on its back and fiery, fiery hooves. Yep. That's kind of awesome. I mean, one way of saying, looking at it is that Nightmare Horse is a sort of... Um, what's it? A repetition? Um, I can't remember the word. You know, like when you say ATM machine? Yes. Yeah, tautology. Because ATM already means automatic teller machine. Well, nightmare has lost its original number. meaning of being a nightmare. Yeah, that a, a demon horse that would give you bad dreams. The mare of the night. Yes. yes. Okay. So. Dreams and despair. Pacifism. <laughs> what the heck is that artwork? It's cute as what it is. It's. It's sort of dark children's animation Rasta zombie. Yes, and he's got cute things. Kind of cute things on him. Evil Bambi. Not evil. And Pinky and the Brain's disturbing Clory cousin. No, it's cuddly. And the flowers over the skull. Ew! Flowers over his groin as well. Yeah, well that's a bit of a relief. Grack felt a little warm and fuzzy inside. It's the diminished okay, arms right. as well. The arms, the right. arms it suddenly lost all muscle mass. That's most. So weird. okay, so he's this horrible zombie that has had peacefulness put upon him and the little creepy woodland animal. So he's he he can't attack or block. Right. Yes. And that's what you're going to do to the horrible nightmare horse. Okie dokie. So I click him. Click the and spell. Oh hi. The and it gets enchanted, so it will stay like that forever. forever. Oh, forever. Yep. So that um, card is just sort of useless. boom, useless. Yep. What if it went in the graveyard? It would. The thing would fall off. Okay. So one way that black has to get around effects like that is to kill their own creatures and then get them back out of the graveyard. But that's advanced stuff. Okay. But, but yes, yeah. it's a good question. Thank you. Yes, you when something attack. goes to the graveyard, any enchantments on it fall off. Okay, so it's my turn again. Let's attack! Block. Attack! Attack! 3-3. Three, three. Can't block. Plonks no, maze life. So nice. Woohoo! Bye bye. Bye bye, three life. Can't attack me either. Oh yeah. Huzzah. Which is fine, because I can't block anything. Yeah. Oh, he's making choices. Please wait. Mm. Dead weight. How's the creature get to minus two? Minus two. <laughs> Free range farming. Hmm. Well, that vampire's farming is. Uh, farming humans. Yes. You don't lock uh, them up, you just uh, let them wander uh, around with <laughs> terrible well, heavy weights. Spiky things. Yeah, somebody casting a shadow. Somebody with a very, very big sword casting a shadow over him. Yes. Right. Or a claw. You see claws there. I see a hilt of a sword. Yes. And claws. Okay. Right, so... Onyx Mage has cast an aura on a glory sacred. Pain in the neck. The effect with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. They may be losing their voice, you know. Well, it's a good job. This is the last one we're doing. Oh. And gets a 2-2. Walking cops with so chunk of head busy. missing. That's fine, it's a zombie, he doesn't need it. Ghoul caller of Nephalia. Yes, an army marches on its stomach or somebody else's stomach. Yeah. It's interesting how that the hands look almost normal. Yeah. It's, okay. a, it's a good point. Mm. Night Guard Patrol has some special abilities. abilities. Woohoo! Special. special. First strike and vigilance. Now, la 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 la. la. I I played a dude with vigilance before, didn't I? Uh, maybe. (sighs) 
Yeah. I think you played the, the, the Midnight Guard who untapped every time another creature entered the battlefield, which was sort of vigilance. There might have been something that had actual vigilance as well. I can't oh, okay. I, I think I played somebody that could that that didn't get summoning sickness, didn't I? Okay. That would anyway. be haste. Yeah. Oh, maybe it wasn't then. Okay. Doesn't tap when it attacks, so it can also block. Mm -hmm. It okay. First strike. Basically, think of it like when they go to combat, he's just super fast. He just whack before they can react. So he deals his damage before they they do theirs back, and if he kills them, they don't get to do theirs back to so him. So he doesn't take any damage from. Yeah. Him. So he's just he's just like think of it like he's got the rapier fast. So he can sword kill arm. things that would otherwise kill him if yep. they don't have first strike. He can kill a bigger, tougher monster. Yeah, and well, anything up to two toughness, yes. Which coincidentally, what a surprise is the toughness of that Zombo who just arrived. Zombo, isn't that a? <laughs> Abusive term? That sounds a little derogatory. Zombies I'm sorry, rights. Zombie kin. Zombies rights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play you. Oh hi. Zombie zombifies Calm type bat, individual. Bat, bat, bat. Uh, I don't know. Think you do want to attack. I just lose it, there's no point in attacking. Yeah. Skip attack. Yeah, the game led you, the game suddenly dropped you there. It's been holding your hand through everything, and suddenly it's like, oh, do you want to attack? He, he didn't attack either. Oh, and you're it's a three-two now because of that, so it can now do first strike with three toughness instead of so. Wait, it's a three-two. Yeah, because it got the boost from your enchantment thing. Oh, right. So so anything up to three toughness would just. Die so wait, this back. this one because it's got a minus two on it, minus two on it. If I didn't have this enchantment on it, this this guy would be not not. Yes, which is she, kind of pointless. She would be dead. She would be dead. dead. Okay. She would instantly die. Oh right. So if you get a minus minus, which takes it below, He's either dead. Of, either of the stats or just just both the toughness, the stats. just toughness, the toughness, which is the second one. Yep. Okay. So just attack with the three two because the one one would still get non non non. Because that one's still useless, useless, useless. But the zombie could kill that. So he'll have to chump luck or just die, but you will get to strike it away. Super fast. You don't even get to respond. You're indeed. First, first strike is very powerful. Okay. Right. He got <coughs> that. He do nothing. He did nothing all turn. Yep. Huh. So it may be time to win. <laughs> This just, is the time when dude. you win. You can swing with both because he can't do anything. True. Oh yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Can't attack or block. Shaboom! And the game told you you were going to win, so... Yeah. <laughs> swing in for the win! As you play more magic, remember that enchantments can help you win the game. Either by improving your creatures, removing your opponent's creatures, or other other effects. In Quest 4, we'll learn some tricky spells and interactions. Tricky. Tricky, Not yes. today, though. So, should we call that an end for our sure. the first Teach Me to Magic pilot episode? Uh, Do may... we need a theme song? Teach me to magic! If we do, it's not that one. Teach me to magic. No. No, 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 stop. Stop. No, the thing that you're doing right now, whatever it is, never do it again. That thing there. No. 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 To magic. No. The, no. Stop. Teach me to magic.